What's up guys, I'm Game Wizard, and today I am back with another video. I'm going to be doing a tier list of uh, several different tier lists, but today we're kicking it off with Minecraft 1.17 feature tier list. So these are all of the, the basic features that will be added in the next cave update, and I'm going to be ranking them. So first of off, we have Archaeological Excavations. Now this one actually hasn't been in a snapshot yet, so we haven't really gotten much more info on it uh, other than like the the initial trailer and it does seem cool but also uh you know it, i have a hard time like thinking it's very minecrafty you know it just doesn't really feel like it fits in so i'm gonna put it in b tier axolotls however are going straight to the top axolotls are in this in minecraft they look super cute they're really cool animals in real life and I think it's just really fun that they get to be added in Minecraft. Plus, you get to hold them in a bucket. At that point, it's not even a contest. Possibly the best mob in Minecraft ever. Now we have new mountain generation. These mountains, I am putting in S tier because they have looked amazing. They're giant, uh, which actually needs the, the world height and depth to be increased for this entire update. And the mountains, I think, look amazing. Or they're going to look amazing in the... The final update and i think that's just really great i think it'll just make minecraft look so much more beautiful than it is goats uh goats for me is an interesting uh topic because i think they're actually a pretty cool mob you know they're they, they're cute they fit in with minecraft uh the only thing that's probably keeping me from putting it in s tier is i wish that the frogs won the vote uh yeah i was i was voting for swamp and uh, goats aren't bad, but I, I, they're not what I really wanted to be in the game. So they don't get S tier, but they're not, they're, they're still pretty good mobs. Now, copper. I think copper is, uh, like, when I first think of copper in Minecraft, I instantly think mods. Because I never really thought of a way it could really be naturally implemented into the game. So, but I think, like... It is kind of cool, and it does feel Minecrafty, but I don't think it actually has enough... It doesn't have enough uses to me to make it feel, like, really special. So I'm going to put it in B tier. It does have, like, an acceptable amount. It's not it's not crazy or anything, but I, I feel like a bit more could be done with it. Now, dripstone caves. These are really cool. I think that the, the, the dripstone are really cool for traps. They, they look good just in the in the cave they they just i think it fits in with minecraft pretty well uh i'm gonna put an a tier cave generation straight to s tier this is something we have been waiting on for a very long time minecraft caves have needed have needed an update for forever it is literally the cave game so we are finally finally getting new cave generation and i think it looks absolutely exquisite beautiful amazing so it is straight to S tier. Drip leaf. This is uh, a really interesting block. I, I think it has. I think it's really unique and cool in the way that it was implemented. Uh, I think it's gonna be really good for like uh, parkour maps, like they said in the in the trailer. But I think it could also have some maybe redstone uses too, and that's always exciting. So I'm gonna put an A tier. Now the amethyst geodes. Uh, amethyst itself. It doesn't really have too many uses, and it makes me think that there really should be like more, if it's if they're gonna add an entire new substance to the game. But the geodes do look cool with the, the twinkling noise and uh, just the way they look in general. Like, uh, I just think it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna put it in A tier, but at the top of A tier because I think it is almost S tier. And then I should probably put caves before mountains because, uh, yeah, caves are great. Lightning rod. Now, uh, the reason they implemented this was because uh, was to stop like lightning strikes on wooden and wool roofs on houses. And that, while I do think that is a good idea, um, personally, I don't really have much use for this. Sure, I build wooden homes, but I don't think I've ever had trouble with lightning in the past. So. It is a good feature, so I, I'm i just going to... It's like in between A and B tier. 
So, but I'm just going to put an A tier for now because it is uh, pretty cool. Now, Lush Caves. This one is a very cool biome being added. I really love the idea of like underground plant life, the, the glow berries. This is where you find axolotls. And when I saw the trailer, I was like, I need this now. So I'm putting this in S tier because I think not only does it look aesthetically great, but there are also a ton of blocks included in these that can make like gardens look really good. And that to me is just an amazing addition to Minecraft. Next is uh, copper again, but this time I assume it's like more focused on the blocks and like the fact that weathers, I guess. Um, I think it's a pretty cool looking block. You know, my favorite color is orange, so that it does uh, get a few more popularity points from that for me. And the fact that it like oxidizes over time is also super cool into like a, a teal color. So I'm going to put that in A tier uh, because I think that is actually pretty cool. And that's, you know, that almost, you know what? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to keep copper here, but I really, I really do think that this is an, um, uh, a really good way to give copper more functionality. Next is the Skulk Sensors, which is going straight to S tier for me. I, while I'm not very, like, skilled in redstone, I love redstone contraptions and the thought of using wireless redstone and like super complex traps is just insanely cool to me so skulk sensors straight to s tier i think that is going to be super fun to play with when this update comes out next is the glow squid this is two years in a row that i have been disappointed by the mob vote now i do not hate on the glow squid as much as other people do but i in fact, this, this year I wasn't really sure who I wanted, but I feel like the, the glow squid just feels a bit lackluster. Like there could be, I feel like there could be a little bit more to it. I just don't know what. So it's going to be a tier. Telescope. This is uh, like one of the only, if not the only use of amethyst is to build a telescope. And I think it's actually really good because it can be used by uh, players who don't have access to Optifine. And while it isn't, uh, as good as Optifine, it's it's a good vanilla in-game way to, to zoom into things, and I think that's really cool, so I'm putting it in S tier. Next is the Warden, and oh my gosh, my S tier is just getting littered with things. Warden goes to S tier. It is an insanely cool mob. I personally really like mobs that are creepy and like super strong, like an endgame type of mob that you, you really don't want to tangle with until you've got full enchanted netherite gear. And I also really like mobs with a bunch of lore behind them. And this mob not only has those, but it also has a really cool concept. So the Warden is just awesome to me. I, I think it is just a really cool mob, and it's a great addition to the game, in my opinion. And last but not least is Bundles. Bundles was an attempt by Minecraft to make uh, inventory... Uh, problems like not so prevalent so it was to like put all of your all of your items together that were stackable so that you didn't have a whole bunch of uh, several different items like uh, you know a flower and a bit of sand and stuff I think this is a really good idea by Mojang to try and make uh, inventory not such a big problem for players so I think it gets a tier and I'm gonna yeah solid a tier and there we have it. There is my tier list for Minecraft 1.17. Uh, feel free to leave your uh, thoughts in the comments. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny how I didn't even use C and D. Uh, this update is just amazing. Like every single feature so far is at least like pretty decent, and most of it is really good. As you can see, my S tier is pretty big. The other tier list I had planned for today is a tier list of uh, the main biomes in Minecraft. Picking a biome to build your base or to just like hang around in is, in my opinion, a pretty important choice for aesthetic. And if you want your build to look good, it has to be in a uh, either good looking biome or biome that fits in really well. Uh, although first thing I'm noticing is that I do not see a, a regular old plains biome. So I'm just going to use uh, this forest here as a stand in because there are a few forests. Uh, so. Pretend this is Plains. Plains biome is good and bad for a couple of reasons. It's good because there's a lot of open space. 
so that your build can be seen. And from like a, a tactical perspective, it's easy to see mobs so they can't sneak up on you and uh, so that you can hunt pretty easily. So in my opinion, planes goes in A because it doesn't look too ugly, but there's, you know, it's a, there's not enough like going on, but that's, that's kind of what it's meant for. It's meant to be just a big open area. Again, pretend this is a picture of planes. The next I'm doing is desert, and desert, uh, in my opinion, is a C or D tier. Sand does not really look good with most builds, and there is not a lot of easy ways to get food in deserts other than finding like a, a village. One redeeming quality, in my opinion, of the deserts is that uh, A, you can find lava pools, which are like good for speedrunning and just having access to lava. And you can get sand there, which is really good for concrete. I personally really love using concrete in my builds because I like uh, modern looking builds. So uh, I'm going to put it in C tier for that. Next is the tundra biome. And tundras are pretty cool, you know? Uh, they have, they've got, there's got snow. There's pretty cool looking trees. You can find polar bears there. And you can build some pretty cool looking cabins and uh, like Viking looking builds or just like cozy little wooden cabins so i think it's a solid a tier next is jungle one of the most interesting biomes out there there is a lot going on in jungle there's bushes and trees everywhere it's really hard to navigate which is unfortunate plus you have to end up clearing out a lot of space for builds and stuff on the bright side you can also find pumpkins melons and cocoa beans which are not only used in uh, food but also certain crafting recipes plus like villager trading you can also find uh, cool mobs like parrots and ocelots and pandas if your jungle is lucky enough to have bamboo. Plus, you can also find jungle temples, so I'm putting it in B tier. Next is Mesa. And Mesa is, uh, in my, I think it's like a either one way or the other. There's no in-between. You either really like how it looks or you absolutely hate it. I think it's it looks okay. But to be honest, it's pretty similar to desert and there's not a lot of resources. To be honest, the only reason you'd really ever want to live here is if you were too scared to like adventure outwards or if you like needed a bunch of uh, clay and terracotta and stuff like that. I personally don't really like the Mesa biome. I know, I think it's good that it's in the game, but I wouldn't really consider living there because I don't think it really looks that good with builds you, there are some uh that could look good but yeah, i think it's like very niche next is the mountain biome and this is current minecraft mountains uh i don't think mountains look that good they're pretty barren they they're pretty ugly but uh so it would be a c tier for me next is the taiga taiga is uh a little interesting because it's it looks good and it doesn't. I don't think the the like the dirt uh, podzol on the ground looks too great. Uh, but to to some, they might find it like really really good looking for certain builds. Plus, like the spruce trees give it a little bit of credibility, and you can find foxes there. So I'm gonna put it in B tier. And its little brother, the snowy taiga. Uh, in my opinion, gets a little more credibility because the snow kind of covers up the brown. And you can find arctic foxes here, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty nice. Next is the mushroom biome. Mushroom biomes are pretty ugly. But it is really good for building in because it is completely mob-proof. And you can find the rare mob, which is the mushroom. So... Uh, I'm going to put it in B tier because it is a good place to build if you don't want to be fighting mobs all the time. But it doesn't really look that great without you like completely reshaping the land. So it goes in B tier. Oh, uh, it does have like mushrooms and mycelium, which are hard to get otherwise. otherwise. So that is a good bonus, but it just it doesn't really look good, in my opinion, with most builds. Coral Reef is next, and this one... I think goes in S tier. This is the first S tier. Corals, reefs, I think are really cool because, you know, that adds, it adds color to Minecraft's oceans, which are otherwise really drab, boring, and just like a whole bunch of grays and uh, white from sand and blue. 
coral reef really breaks that up and it gives you uh, like all sorts of tropical fish. And while this is a lot more difficult to build in since it's underwater, I always uh, think that underwater builds look, end up looking really good. And it being next to a coral reef just adds to the effect. Next is savanna. Savanna biomes are not that great looking. They, they've got like a, a yellow uh, green grass, which isn't usually too pleasant. And the acacia trees aren't the best looking either. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of these biomes. So I'm going to put it in C tier. Next is ice spikes. Ice spikes are really cool to find because I'm pretty sure they're uh, kind of rare and ice is difficult to get your hands on otherwise. So, and it has the added bonus of like being snow covered. So it's pretty much a tundra with ice spikes. So I'm going to put this in S tier because it looks good uh, if you like, even with the ice, it could look good. But if you, if you clear out the ice, you have a really good looking area. And you have some ice in your pocket, which is pretty useful for certain things like sorting systems. Next is the swamp, and swamps just are pretty ugly. You know, they, they've got ugly looking water, they got ugly looking grass. It's I think it makes sense to put it in the game, but for me they just do not look very good. The one one of the only benefits to having these biomes is like access to vines and mushrooms and uh witches huts but it does not look good you do in my opinion you do not want to build a base here okay uh now all we have left is forests uh to be honest i don't think like the different types of woods really make that much of a difference in forests i, I do slightly like uh regular brown old trees over birch a little bit more but that doesn't change its tier enough so i'm gonna put both of uh these two forests in the same tier i'm gonna put it in a solid B tier. It's it's basically like a plains biome with trees. So you got it's a good place to start because you got a lot of access to wood and you can find wolves pretty easily. But you gotta like clear out trees if you want your build to really be noticed and seen. Plus, there's a lot of spaces uh, where things could sneak up on you. And last but not least is the dark oak forest, which I'm categorizing separate from these guys because uh, I feel like it's I, I'm gonna put it in the same tier but for a different reason I think dark oak is uh it's it's good in that you get thicker trees which is uh sometimes a good thing and you have access to mushrooms so I would put it in a tier but it's also like really easy for things to sneak up on you which uh could be just not good plus they're hard to navigate so I'm going to I'm going to put it in B tier along with these other forests but for different reasons. All right, that is my tier list for the main biomes of Minecraft. Keep in mind this forest is a placeholder for planes because for some reason it wasn't included. Uh again, feel free to leave your ideas and thoughts in the comments below and uh that is all the time I have today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.